Michael Eckstein, who will be talking about authenticating NFTs with certified blockchain autographs. Michael. Thank you very much. Um, I am Michael Eckstein, and I am the founder and the CEO of All Certified. And um, let me start off with a little bit of a backstory as to how a grandfather in his early 70s got involved in NFTs and subsequently developed a patent to affix digitized signatures to NFTs. All my life, I have been a baseball guy. And I have a collection of about 2,000, 2,500 baseball cards. And clearly, the most valuable and those that I cherish the most are those that are signed. So I was the guy that was always at the sports show. I stood in line, got the signature on the card of Reggie Jackson and Johnny Bench and Tom Seaver. Last year, I started another type of collection. And that collection had to do with Top Shot, having to do with the NBA. So I started to buy some NFTs from James Harden, Steph Curry, LeBron James, and I'm kind of like feeling good about this. And this, my age, I'm getting involved in a new area. And then it hit me. What makes this collection of baseball cards valuable and what pieces are valuable as opposed to those that are not? Over here you have NFTs. Why not put together a digitized autograph platform to allow people to create a certified autograph to attach to NFTs? So my background, I'm a double E as well as a consumer, a, a um, computer scientist. And having sold one of my companies about two, three years ago, you know, semi-retired and how many fish can you catch and how many golf balls can you hit? And I said, you know something? There is an opportunity here that I think is going to be awesome. And what I did is I closed the door to my office. 14 hours later, I had written the patent, and I had created the software code and the database architecture and the file, for and the file formats, and I basically was able to file the patent. So. Today's, by the way, today's presentation is going to be in two pieces. Um, because part two, I got roped in by the insurance industry to help organize a workshop in September that is going to put together some risk management for some best practices. And I'll talk a little bit about that in the second part of the presentation. So here's a fact, and we all know it. NFTs are collectibles. And people know that auction houses and fans and collectors, we all know that personally signed and autographed collectibles are worth orders of magnitude more than unsigned pieces. So let's look at a typical Michael Jordan jersey. You can buy a jersey on eBay for 75 bucks, or you can buy a Michael Jordan jersey for $200,000. And what differentiates it, obviously, is the signature and the autograph. Our B2B business model, and this is important, we do not work directly with consumers, and I'll tell you why in a couple of minutes, but what we do is we actually work with talent agencies, social media influencers, IP content owners. We work with these people to, in fact, make their clients look good. We are Switzerland. We do not mint NFTs, we do not have a marketplace, we do not have an auction site. We work with people that already have an NFT that they now want to have autographed and signed. So this is our patent, and we file this under the PCT, the Patent Cooperation Treaty, and we now have the first to file protection in 156 countries. And what we do is we onboard individuals, we physically identify them with either a passport or a driver's license. We collect a digital NFT, we collect a digital signature, and then they have the ability to, in fact, sign NFTs that we tee up for them on their smartphone. And this is important, key part of the, pa key part of the patent. 
Every time an NFT is signed, it's a one by one by one digital authentication that we actually authenticate it is the person. This is so Madonna doesn't wake up one morning and says she's 200 NFTs, hands it to her secretary and goes out shopping. We wanna make sure that every single NFT is signed and looked at by the individual and the authenticated signature affixed. We all know that millennials and Gen Zs, this is the new category of collectors. You know, you're looking at somebody, when I collect something, it's a piece of art, I put it on the wall, I have a signed baseball, I put it in my bookcase. This cohort, where will their collectibles reside? On their smartphones. And they will be able to look at it and see it and Facebook it and trade it. These are the markets we are currently in, sports, music, art and fashion, TV, movies, and social influencers. Our blockchain certified autographs can either be affixed as stickers or part of the metadata and part of the smart contract. So let's quickly get into part two. Why are we having this work group? If you look at everything on the left-hand side, the physical aspect of collecting, auction houses, galleries, they guarantee the authenticity, they guarantee the provenance, they guarantee the ownership. That's how the industry works of collectibles. Now we come along and we have digital assets a $41 billion industry. I'm in NFTs, okay, I use OpenSea, I use Nifty Gateway. Not once was I asked to sign or either click a box, do you hereby certify, attest, and guarantee that the image that you are about to turn into an NFT, you own, and you are the owner of the intellectual property rights. It doesn't happen. And as a result, we have a horrible, ugly underbelly in our industry. And I think anybody that has seen this, we know what is happening here. Facebook by scammers, Hermes clashes with an artist who create Meta Birkins for a, a metaverse. Major court battle looms over NFTs. The one on the right I love, if the world of NFTs has any hope of being a viable ongoing thing, they need to address theft and swiftly, otherwise NFT ownership is meaningless. Our friends at the IRS are getting involved in this. This was a conference that I went to out in LA earlier this year. Mountains and mountains of fraud. And you know something? This is now what's happening in our marketplace. This is the story that we have to address. This is the issue that we have to address. Well, you may say, oh, okay, people start up a, a, a site and they start up, but you know something, the big guys, the 800 pound gorilla here, they have this under control. You know, they don't put any things that are up there that are, are not legit. Really? I apologize for the typo, it should say June 2022. Thefts, fraud, and lawsuits at the world's biggest NFT marketplace. So, this affected me directly because I started to look for insurance coverage for my company. I looked for errors and emissions insurance. I looked for general liability insurance. I looked for directors and officers insurance. And I went to insurance brokers they went to about seven or eight companies. Nobody wanted to touch me. Nobody wanted to touch me because they could not quantify the risk. So what has happened, this made its way up to the Lloyds of London Cyber Syndicate. And those of you who know Lloyds of London, they actually insure over trillions of dollars around the world. These people are saying, to, we need to quantify the risk. 
We need to understand putting together the best practices of risk management. So let's think about insurance for a second. You have a house. Before your house is insured, the insurance company asks you questions about the house. Do you have fire extinguishers? Do you have alarms? If you have a trucking company, are you transporting milk or nuclear waste, right? So what has happened here is there is now happening a work group that is going to come together in Washington, D.C. sometime in December where we are actually looking to develop industry-wide standardized data sets, file formats, best practices to enable risk management products and the underwriters to start issuing insurance policies. And if you look at the players we're talking about, on the left-hand side, these are the people that make our industry possible, right? These are the people that generate the commerce, the financial transactions, everything that we do. Without them understanding what they need to mitigate their risk, the true potential of our marketplace and our industry will never be fulfilled. On the right-hand side, they are the people that are looking to the left-hand side Let's put together some best practices and protocols. And I will tell you that the IRS will be there in Washington in September, and the SEC will be there, and all of you attorneys that want to be part of it, everybody who got, and working with NFT NYC, we are going to announce this and send out blast emails for anybody that wants to participate. You know, my, this is not my company doing this. I got roped into this because after going up the chain, oh, Michael, you realize that there's no way to do this. Why don't you kind of like take half of your presentation when you go to New York and tell people about this thing coming together? So sign up here for the newsletter and updates. And what we are going to do is we are going to capture different emails and as, in fact, we get closer to September, we'll tell you about the logistics, how it's going to happen, what's going to be the work group, and how it's going to be organized. Personally, I think that we have to get this under control. And especially if you are a marketplace, especially if you are a crypto exchange, if you are doing things in the metaverse, you have to be able to look at standardized best practices and protocols so the people issuing the insurance policies can in fact do risk management and issue you insurance policies. And I'll give you a perfect example. Anybody here can go on YouTube and download a clip of Top Gun Maverick. And you know something, you send it to me and you say, Michael, we want Tom Cruise to autograph this. I get Tom Cruise to autograph it, gets minted. Guess what? There's only one organization that can do that, and that's Paramount Pictures, because they own the IP. And all of you out there who are intellectual property lawyers, you can see where, in fact, this is going. So this is something from an industry standpoint starting to come together. The people at NFT NYC are going to be part of this, where we're going to organize this work group and definitely get the insurance coverages and get the liability and exposure under control. Okay? If you have any additional questions or comments, I will be in the back of the room. Thank you very much.